Human Body True and False The 7 Most Common Misconceptions About the Human Body Good afternoon dear viewer. The most useful and interesting information just for you. I wish you all goodness, happiness, love and a peaceful sky. So let's go. We have collected amazing facts about our physiology, which turned out to be complete nonsense. Science does not stand still, it's time to operate with new, more advanced delusions. It's amazing how many misconceptions exist about the human body, which, it would seem, is here, always at hand. However, even in the 21st century, when scientists are digging into our genome with might and mean and have learned how to treat many hopeless diseases, something about the work of the human body still remains a mystery. So let's not shame anyone, but simply expose the very common misconceptions that we inherited from the last century. Well, if you like to put into internet discussions with the words bullshit, here is the factual base for you. 1. We only use 10% of our brain. This misconception probably originated in the depths of punitive psychiatry at the beginning of the 20th century. Just think, the frontal lobe of the brain. You can perfectly live without it. Doctors were also encouraged by interesting cases when patients did well with serious brain damage. However, psychiatry and psychology of the present time is simply horrified by these arguments. Yes, individual areas of the human brain may well take over the functions of damaged areas, this is the basis of therapy after a stroke. However, alas, the deprivation of a part of the brain, especially the frontal lobes, irreversibly damages our unique emotional intelligence, which people have learned to recognize and appreciate in people only recently. It is he who still distinguishes us from advanced AI systems. Emotional intelligence helps us evaluate the behavior and feelings of other people, make decisions, and exist in society. A person may not look like an intellectual, but if he always knows how to do the right thing and how to please other people, then he actually uses most of his nerve cells. Even as you read this article, you are likely using much more than 10% of your brain. 2. Man has 5 senses. Some branches of modern psychology distinguish 33 senses. Among them are many that you never thought about. Like a sense of balance. If you've ever been sick in a car, or familiar with helicopters after drinking, it's just a violation of this feeling. A very unpleasant sensation, however, to whom we tell. There is also a feeling of pain, after all, this is somewhat different than touch, agree, a feeling of hunger, a feeling of muscle strain, a feeling of lack of oxygen and increased pressure. On a physical level, our body can feel much more than the recognized big five. 3. Gum takes years to digest. Well, it's good to philosophize. This simple and uncomplicated horror story was probably invented by Soviet mothers, who were scared to see how the chewing gum in their child's mouth disappeared with the ends. No one knew what would happen, and just in case they assumed the most unpleasant, deposits of chewing gum somewhere in the bowels of a careless child. In fact, according to the American health system more familiar with chewing gum, the object moves easily through the digestive tract and comes out naturally in a couple of days. For something to get stuck inside our intestines, this something must be at least a 10 ruble coin in diameter. It is unlikely that this can be easily swallowed. 4. Chocolate causes acne. Hooray, the delicacy is absolutely nothing to do with it. The myth was specifically dispelled by Dr. Kligman of the University of Pennsylvania. He gave a group of teenagers regular chocolates and chocolate-flavored candies, but no chocolate. As a result, acne remained in place in both groups. This, of course, removes chocolate from suspicion, but does not remove sugar. In general, the only thing that Dr. Kligman managed to prove for sure is that teenagers are the main source of acne. 5. The ability to roll the tongue into a tube is inherited genetically. Not the most common myth, but curious. There are certainly people who are not able to do this with their language at all. Just in case, check it out. Now, in some American schools, this statement is still used to illustrate dominant genes. Students are encouraged to roll their tongues and see if their parents can do it. 
Since the ability is very common, most likely they succeed, and the teacher triumphs. Recently, however, the same American biologists have wondered if this is really so. Actually, they were led to this idea by twin brothers, one of whom could fold his tongue, and the other could not. And what do you think? It turned out that genetics has absolutely nothing to do with folding the tongue. It is a faculty bestowed upon us by pure chance. If scientifically, some genes, of course, are responsible for the fact that the language of people is folded, but they are not dominant. 6. Large heat losses occur through the head. For some reason, this myth goes especially well with maternal instinct, so we all have to wear a hat, from the state of a dumb, but very dissatisfied, bare-assed baby to the already completely grey-haired you, getting home from your mother's borscht. This myth is said to have originated with some scientists in the 1950s, who planned to wrap people with bare heads in the cold, and were surprised that they had surprisingly cold airs. In fact, heat loss through the head is absolutely equal to heat loss through any other part of the body. It all depends on the area of the exposed area. Just don't show this information to your mother, otherwise you will have to put on socks, mittens and a balaclava every time you leave the borscht in the wild. 7. Nails and hair grow after death. The most dear everyday myth, caused by repeated visual observations. Some dead people do look quite clawed and hairy. However, this is not due to the fact that something grows there, but to the fact that after death the human body rapidly loses moisture and dries out. In general, it is better not to look at the dead, especially those dear to the heart. It is unlikely that you will see something pleasant and comforting there. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.